While the borders of St. Kitts and Nevis were officially reopened on the 31st October, no commercial passenger flights have landed at the Robert L. Bratch International Airport. Sources inform SK Newsline that there were a few small charter flights and small private general aviation aircraft that landed at the airport over the weekend. Reopening after a seven-month shutdown to all but cargo flights, the RLB Airport Terminal has undergone several changes to accommodate COVID-19 protocols. International flights will return to St. Kitts and Nevis when American Airlines and British Airways are expected to have their first flights since the borders were closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic and confirmation of these flights are expected later in the week. Physical changes at the airport include a welcoming center, a medical center and an isolation room all located on the aircraft parking apron while on the inside the immigration arrivals hall is divided into two sections so that on entry to the terminal a passenger must pass through a screening process conducted in the former arrivals VIP lounge before exiting into the other half of the hall to be processed by immigration officers. Any COVID-19 suspected cases will be directed outside to the medical center for testing and perhaps isolation. Meanwhile, regional airline Riyadh announced it will be back in the skies on 1st November with a single round-trip flight between Antigua and Dominica. A press release on Liat's Facebook page informed that limited scheduled flights on the airline's network will occur later in November. According to the release, COVID-19 protocols will apply to the airline's operations and a new booking website will be launched later in November while the airline continues under administration. Glenn Barth, SK Newsline.